I never felt neglected, even though so much was focused on my brother's care. And I just always felt that that was God. If he hadn't been there, I can't even imagine where my life would have gone. I was born and raised in Southbridge, raised in the church. So I'm the oldest of two. My brother, he has some special needs and it did involve a lot of trips to emergency rooms, learning a lot about mental health, trying to figure that journey out. So when I went to college, it was a really nice break. And when I came home from North Carolina, I had every intention of running right back. Then Zach asked me out. <laughs> and Zach and I began to form our family. Olivia and Lillian came along and I said, okay, God, I'm done. And God went, ha ha, and said, there's room for more. Dennis and Ari became a part of our family, even though they already had been, because my brother is the biological father of them. And we were led to believe that they would come home and they know us and they would be fine. And that nowhere near prepared Zach and I for the needs that they have. But it's been hard. It's been bumpy. There were times where it was really dark and I didn't think we were gonna make it. What could have broken our marriage really solidified it. And we just became this really chaotic, <laughs> loud family that has to do things a lot differently than I imagined I would be <laughs> doing as a mom. So being in church has always been a big part of my life. COVID changed a lot of things. Part of that change was Zach and I needing to make a really important change. Initially it was for the kids, but it turns out it was for us too. I feel like I've connected to people in a different way. People are loving my children no matter how hard of a day that they are having. They're loving Zach and I, no matter how hard of a day we're having. So even though it's a 20 minute ride, it's worth it to feel the connections that we're feeling. I feel like his story in my life is just, he's always got the person. So getting baptized was a very big decision as intimidating as it might be for me to be in front of people. It's exciting. Since we started coming here, I am entering this new relationship. And though I have always felt connected to God and I have done all the things, the infant baptism, the confirmation when I was 14 years old, accepting Christ, I feel like this is a new relationship. My name is Sarah and I have decided to follow Jesus. Woo! <laughs>